in this video we are going to discussing about landed cost in oro 13 so what is landed cost we can add extra expense charges to the product cost from the product cost of the vendor and here we go let's start in the inventory module here we have to configure the option or enable the option for landed cost in the settings here we can see the option for landed cost enable the option and save the page and then here we can see the option for landed cost here like we can see the window for landed cost and first we want to purchase a product and for our easiness we are creating two product because there is a condition for land cost that is the inventory valuation costing method is in FIFO and the inventory valuation is in automatic so we have to create a new product that's how we can see the change of the cost easily and give a name here demo 21 and here we specify the uh, product type here as storable that's must for this and here we can specify the cost selling cost if you want and the main condition the inventory valuation methods is in FIFO and the inventory valuation is in automated and save this and save the product and we can create another product here by demo 22 and product must be in storable product and uh, costing costing method and inventory valuation FIFO and automated save this and save the product and then make a purchase order for this product by clicking create purchase order and we can specify here our vendor and we can add our product demo 21 and demo Twenty-two, and this is in quantity of ten or hundred, and in quantity of fifty, and the uh, vendor price is even price is hundred for demo twenty-one, and two hundred for this, and confirm this order. and receive the product validate play this and here we can create the bill for this and post this we sell our payment so all we done and then go to our inventory module again and inside the operations here we have the landed cost create a new landed cost here by selecting first we select the transfer that's our bill 
the receipt go of our purchase and here we can specify journal and the vendor bill here and we have to add a new cost here we are creating a new cost here and here we can see the splitting methods that defines the way of splitting the cost to the product as equal equal to the same to the products and by quantity by quantity wise the cost is splitted and current cost weight and volume and here we can specify our extra charge that we we have and here I have 4000 extra charge and by computing inside the valuation adjustment here we can see the adjustment here the new value for this and the original value for this product and we can validate this and save and while we can see the product cost is still is in zero for our two products demo can see this because we are given its costing method is an automatic so and FIFO so while selling or oh, first out the product we can or oh, the cost will automatically update here we can see that by creating a new order order here by creating and you sale order for this specifying a vendor a customer here and product here by demo 21 and demo 22 and quantity is 3 and 3 and we can confirm this so inside the delivery we can validate this and create bill for this Make the invoice and post it. Paste the payment for this and validate. Okay, so inside the product, you can see the cost is updated with our 20 extra charge our cost is our purchased the product is in 100 and the cost is changed to 120 and for our product demo 22 here we can see that the cost is changed here as our vendor cost plus our extra planner cost here so this is how we create and setting the landed course for product and I think you understand this and thanks for watching this video. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.